गाइस वेलकम टू विटीश अकेडमी डॉट कॉम एंड हियर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन एग्जाम्पल ऑन डिविजन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स सो हियर वी हैव डिवाइड द पॉलिनोमियल थ्री एक्स पावर फोर माइनस एट एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू प्लस टेन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स बाई थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फाइव सो लेट इस ट्राई दिस पॉलिनोमियल सो दैट द पावर ऑफ एक्स आर इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो लेट इस ट्राई हियर थ्री एक्स पावर फोर माइनस एट एक्स क्यूब प्लस टेन एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एट एक्स माइनस टू सो हियर वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस पॉलिनोमियल विथ थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फाइव वी हैव हियर द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द डिविडेंट एज थ्री एक्स पावर फोर लेट इस डिवाइड इट विथ द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ द डिवाइजर थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर सो बाई डिवाइडिंग वी गेट हियर थ्री एक्स पावर फोर Divided by three x square. So let us simplify this. Here three and three get cancelled, and x square and x square get cancelled, and x square remains. So this would be the first term of the quotient. Now let us multiply x square with the divisor three x square minus two x plus five. Now by multiplying x square with three x square, we get three x power four. And x square into minus two x is minus two x cube, and by multiplying x square with five, we get plus five x square. So let us write this below the dividend: three x power four minus two x cube plus five x square. Now let us subtract these polynomials. Here, the additive inverse of three x power four is minus three x power four, and the additive inverse of minus two x cube is plus two x cube. And the additive inverse of plus five x square is minus five x square. Here, the first two terms, three x power four and minus three x power four, get cancelled. And here, minus eight x cube plus two x cube would be minus six x cube. And ten x square minus five x square is plus five x square. Now let us bring the next term minus eight x down. So we get here the new dividend as minus six x cube. Plus five x square minus eight x. We have here the first term of the new dividend as minus six x cube. Let us divide it with the first term of the divisor. So we get here minus six x cube divided by three x square. Now by simplifying here, we get three one time is three and three two times is minus six. And here x square and x square get cancelled, and we get here minus two x. And this would be the second term of the quotient. Now let us multiply minus two x with the divisor three x square minus two x plus five. So by multiplying here minus two x with three x square, we get minus six x cube. And by multiplying minus two x with minus two x, we get four x square. And here minus two x into five is minus ten x. Now let us write this below the new dividend. We get here minus six x cube plus four x square minus ten x. So now let us subtract this, and the additive inverse of minus six x cube is plus six x cube, and the additive inverse of plus four x is minus four x square, and the additive inverse of minus ten is plus ten. Here we can cancel over minus six x cube and plus six x cube, and five x square minus four x square is x square, and here minus eight x plus ten x is plus two x. Now let us bring the constant term. Minus two down, we get here x square plus two x minus two as the new dividend. So now let us divide the first term of the new dividend x square with the first term of the divisor three x square. So we get here x square divided by three x square, and here we can cancel our x square in the numerator and denominator, and we get here one by three as the last term of the quotient. Now let us multiply one by three with the divisor three x square minus two x plus five. So by multiplying here one by three with three x square, three and three get cancelled, and we get here x square. And by multiplying one by three with minus two x, we get here minus two x by three. And here one by three into five is plus five divided by three. Now let us write here below the new dividend. We get here x square. Minus two x divided by three plus five divided by three. So now let us subtract these polynomials. Here the additive inverse of plus x square is minus x square, 
and the ADT inverse of minus 2x by 3 is plus 2x by 3 and the ADT inverse of plus 5 by 3 is minus 5 by 3. Here the first two terms x square and minus x square get cancelled and 2x plus 2x divided by 3 is and now let us simplify the terms 2x plus 2x divided by 3. So by taking here 3 as the LCM we get 6x plus 2x divided by 3 which would be 8x divided by 3. And now let us simplify minus 2 minus 5 by 3. Here by taking 3 as the LCM we get minus 6 minus 5 divided by 3 which is nothing but minus 11 divided by 3. So we get here the quotient as x square minus 2x plus 1 by 3 and the remainder as 8x divided by 3 minus 11 divided by 3. And now let us verify here dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So the divisor here is 3x square minus 2x plus 5 and the quotient is x square minus 2x plus 1 by 3 and the remainder is 8x divided by 3 minus 11 by 3. And let us multiply here 3x square with x square we get here 3x power 4 and by multiplying 3x square with minus 2x we get minus 6x cube and here by multiplying 3x square with 1 by 3 we get 3x square by 3. Now let us multiply minus 2x with the polynomial we get here minus 2x into x as minus 2x cube and minus 2x into minus 2x as plus 4x square minus 2 by 3x. Now let us multiply the constant term 5 with the quotient. We get here 5x square minus 10x plus 5 by 3. Now let us write the remainder as it is 8x by 3 minus 11 by 3. Now let us group the like terms. Here we have only one x power 4 term. So let us write 3x power 4 and we have here 2x cube terms minus 6x cube and minus 2x cube and now let us group the x square term so here we can cancel over 3 and 3 in the numerator and denominator and we get here x square plus 4x square plus 5x square now let us group the x terms here we have 3x terms minus 2 by 3x minus 10x plus 8x by 3 and let us group the constant terms 5 by 3 minus 11 by 3. So by simplifying this would come as 3x power 4 6x cube minus 2x cube is minus 8x cube and here by adding x square plus 4x square plus 5x square we get here 10x square. Now let us take 3 as a LCM here. So the numerator terms we get minus 2x minus 30x plus 8x divided by 3. Now again here by taking 3 as LCM we get 5 minus 11 divided by 3 and therefore we can write this as 3x power 4 minus 8x cube plus 10x square and by adding minus 2x minus 30x plus 8x we get minus 24x divided by 3 and here 5 minus 11 would be minus 6 divided by 3. Here by simplifying we get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 8 times is 24 and again by simplifying over here we get 3 1 time is 3 and 3 2 times is minus 6. Therefore, we get here 3x power 4 minus 8x cube plus 10x square minus 8x minus 2 which is nothing but the dividend. So this was a basic introduction on how to solve an example on division of polynomials. Hope you understood the concept. To like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.